hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i am going to give you a comparison between pic 16 fa 77a microcontroller versus pic 18 f4620 microcontroller so guys let's get started this is our pic 18 f4620 microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version this is our pic 16 fa 77a having 40 pins it is also a dip version this is a versus line between both microcontrollers as you can see both microcontrollers have exactly same pin configuration and also have same pin layout. So let's get started with the comparison. So guys, first of all, millions pro CPU speed is measured in terms of millions of instructions per second, MIPS. PIC 18 f 4620 is a newer version as compared to PIC 16 series. So it has 10 MIPS speed while the PIC 16 has 5 MIPS speed. Next thing is the external crystal oscillator. You connect the external crystal oscillator on both the microcontrollers controllers at pin number 13 and 14. Same is on the PIC16 F877A microcontroller at pin number 13 and 14. But the maximum crystal that you can connect on the PIC16 F877A microcontroller is 20 MHz, while that you can connect on the PIC18 F4620 microcontroller is a 40 MHz crystal. So PIC18 F4620 allows you to connect a greater crystal and you can acquire greater speed with this microcontroller. Next thing is that there is an internal oscillator in many microcontrollers. Even in PIC16 series, there are a few microcontrollers like PIC16 F887 that supports internal oscillator up to 4 MHz speed. But PIC18 F4620 has a very powerful internal oscillator. It supports up to 8 MHz of speed. But unfortunately, PIC16 F877A does not support an internal oscillator. You must connect an oscillator at pin number 13 and 14 to use this microcontroller. Next thing is analog to digital conversion pins, which are very important in any microcontroller using sensors, modules, or for the purpose of automation, etc. PIC18 F4620 has 13 ADC pins from A0, a1, A2, A3, A5, E0, E1, E2, B4, B3, B2, B1, and B0. Port B has some pins, Port E has, has some pins, and Port A has some pins. This brings the total pins up to 13 ADC pins. While PIC16 F877A has only 8 ADC pins from A0 to A5, and then E0, E1, and E2. A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 is not an ADC pin. A5 is an ADC pin, then E0, E1, and E2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have total 8 ADC pins on PIC16 F877A microcontroller. Apart from this, guys, the great thing is both the microcontroller has very powerful ADC module. It has up to 10 bit of ADC resolution. Now, guys, the next thing is 36 programmable pins. PIC18 F4620 has 36 programmable pins while PIC16 F877A microcontroller has only 33 programmable pins, which is still a huge number. These pins can be turned into digital input-output pin on both the microcontrollers using programming software called Micro C for PIC. But you can see that PIC18 has exactly the same uh, configuration, and PIC16 also has exactly the same pin configuration. Both have 40 pins. Both are replaceable with each other. Why? 36 pins are on the PIC-18 and 33 pins are on PIC-16. So let me tell you guys, in the PIC-18, when you are using the internal oscillator, these two pins, pin number A6, uh, 13 and 14, they can be turned into digital input-output pin by using a programming software called Micro C for PIC. You can program them as digital input-output pins if you are using internal oscillator instead of the external oscillator. While on the PIC16 F877A, you do not have an internal oscillator, so you cannot turn them as digital input-output pins because they have, a crystal have to be connected to this pin to get this pick to work. Now, guys, the next thing is this pin is the third pin. So these are three pins causing the difference. That's why PIC18 has 36 pins and PIC16 has only 33 programmable digital input-output pins. This pin, that is MCR, MCLR pin, that is pin number 1, PIC18 F4620 has such an architecture that this pin is also programmable by using programming software. So guys, the next thing that I'm going to show is this, programmable memory. Programmable memory is very important, especially when you are using very complicated programming. Many built-in libraries or functions require huge memory to operate. PIC16 FA77A has very impressive programming memory at a 
because PIC 16 fa 7 a is a very cheap microcontroller. At this cost of $2.5, 14 KB memory is huge memory as compared to the PIC 16 80 mega 328p that is used on the Arduino UNO has only 8 kilobyte of built-in programming memory. While PIC 18 f 4620 is a masterpiece in this in this scenario, it has a very huge programmable memory that is 64 KB. This microcontroller is very suitable for very complicated programming where you need huge number of libraries to be used in the programming then it's very useful because it supports up to 64 kb of programming memory so guys i hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day if you have any questions or queries you can ask in the comment section below thank you guys have a nice day